Hello, hello, my lovelies. Welcome back. There is no way you can convince me that raggedy scallywag who calls herself the Duchess of Sussex isn't paying attention to my content. I dragged Harry's trollop for absolute filth in a video I uploaded not too long ago. After I mentioned nobody was actually consuming this questionably produced jam, Harry placed a quick phone call to his boyfriend Nacho to quickly upload a photo of himself taking the smallest bite from the crust of his toast, making sure he didn't get any of Megan's mysterious concoction in and around his mouth, like his entire life depended on it. Nacho knew if he got that red slop in his mouth, it would be game over. The poor man looked terrified for his life and his butthole, fearing if he gets a drop of the jam on his skin, it might burn off, or if he gets any on his lips, he might get uncontrollable diarrhea or any kind of other severe adverse reaction. If you missed that video, I'll leave the link below for you to check out. I don't know who the heck is coming up with these super lame collaboration ideas, with these celebrity has-beens who are sharing images of Megan's putrid jam. Well, there's a good chance I know who's coming up with these lame ideas. Never did I imagine the woman who is marred by bullying allegations and allegations of being a complete menace to palace staff and those around her. We saw her behavior on full display recently at a Santa Bale event, and there's a huge push for the palace to release the bullying reports on Meghan Markle. You would think, the last person this self-proclaimed very smart nerd would collaborate with is none other than cyber bully and author of hundreds and thousands of now deleted tweets which were highly sexually explicit in nature towards underage children that would make a normal grown adult throw up. I'm sure you know the woman who has a face like a bloated chipmunk that's been smacked with a frying pan. No, you don't know who I'm talking about? Chrissy Teigen. If you don't believe me about Chrissy's previous tweets, well, the internet is forever, and I suggest you go and search Chrissy Teigen, toddlers and tiaras. Make sure you have a barf bucket close by because it is absolutely perverted, and her thoughts towards children were so disgusting, it will make your skin crawl. This is the same Chrissy Teigen who, at her big age, sent harassing messages to 16-year-old Courtney Stodden, who was dealing with her own mental health issues at the time. Well, what did Chrissy do? Chrissy told this 16-year-old to take a dirt nap. And if you don't know what that means, basically Chrissy told a mentally unstable teenager to unalive herself. When Chrissy started receiving well-deserved backlash, guess what? She became the victim. She was depressed because people were bullying her. Boo-hoo. Who gives a flying fig, bully? But you know what they always say. Water seeks its own level. In this case, mosquito-infested swamp water meets mosquito-infested swamp water. Megan and Chrissy probably bonded over their fake miscarriage stories they both shared with the media, or their love of bullying those younger than them. I always say bullies of a feather flock together, and these two bullies are perfect for each other. But I never thought Megan would send jam to a woman who once tweeted out about needing to go to jail after watching toddlers and tiaras. This is just my opinion and maybe a little bit of business advice for Megan. Don't associate yourself with a woman who has a history of sending out explicit tweets towards minors and is a known cyber bully who canceled herself due to her own actions and cyber bullying another person. Anyways, enough of this mess. I have a basket of laundry that needs to be folded and I need to clean my floors, which is much more interesting than two bullies linking up so Meghan Markle can steer the narrative off growing demands about the missing Sussex children and their legitimacy within the line of succession due to Meghan's own behavior while wearing fake moon bumps. And let's not forget Harry's visa dilemma. 
All of this jam nonsense is to try and steer our attention away from what we should be paying attention to. But anyways, my friends, let me know what you think in the comments below and I will catch you in the next one. Thanks for tuning in. Stay gorgeous, my lovelies. Take care. Bye.